Hello everyone, um, my name is Kyle Adaman. I'm a fourth year undergraduate here at Oxford studying maths and computer science and I was the youngest ever Oxfordchamp on Countdown. Nine. Nine. Thirteens. Thirteens, very good. Those of us who maybe don't watch daytime television. <laughs> Fair enough. Can you, can you tell us, what is, what is Countdown, Kai? Uh, I can, yes. So it's a quiz programme on Channel 4. It's been going since early 80s. The basic idea is you get given nine letters. Um, you can choose vowels and consonants. Uh, and you've got to make the longest word possible out of those letters. I got quite a snigger for getting a recting. Um, although my, my young innocent mind thought nothing of it. Um, I simply was considering the, the structure of a building. Um, however, the dark secrets have since been revealed to me. So you have a bunch of letters rounds like that. Uh, and then you've got a few numbers rounds as well where you get, get given six smaller numbers and a bigger target. And you've got to make the target number um, with the six numbers and your basic um, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. 75, 25, and your four small are 10, 2, 8, and 4. And your target is 706. And your time starts now. Uh, stain, prices, pelting, ordinary, oasis, penalty, curtsy, lounger. Mingled, utmost, erection, hotel, unbolt, wit, cause, star, stopper, pansy, bulk, ascent, elemental, wales, treating, train, skin, belongs, deport, create, spell, spines, <laughs> retail. Right, and um, so this one you, you look at 75 times 10 straight away, gets you near but not quite near enough. Uh, so if you take off the 4 before you times by 10, then that has the effect of doing 75 times 10 minus 4 times 10. So that gets us to 710 here, and at that point we're only 4 away. 8 over 2 is the 4, um, and that's 706. Uh, and then the game finishes on a conundrum, which is just a 9 letter anagram, um, and you have to beat your opponent on the buzzer um, to get you the, the final 10 points of the game. I, I, I unscrambled a conundrum that was Lorna's bum, um, also got a bit of a chuckle, um, subnormal, in case you're wondering. So how did you end up on it as as an 11 year old? 11, yeah. Um, so it's a very good question. Um, I used to watch it with my mum as a kid, as you say, coming home from school. Um, I'd watch it and i picked up my letters, my numbers, uh, my words from that. And I decided I was actually getting quite good at it. And it's the only, it was at the time the only show in the country that, um, the only quiz show in the country that let under 16s on. So I thought, as a 10 year old, I thought, hang on, I'll give it a go, why not? Yeah, yeah. There'd been a couple of people before me um, who'd gone on, I think they were eight years old before me. And I thought, if they've done it, why can't I? So I went for an interview um, and they, they liked me. So got a, got a place on the show and, um, and managed to do reasonably well. So I'm absolutely chuffed. I don't know if you know this, Kai, you're, you're going to get embarrassed about this. Do you know that you were the youngest Octa champ on Countdown for the last 20 years? <laughs> So you were okay. You, you did what? Get to the semi-final? Are we talking? I got to the semi-final. Yeah. Um, so you have to win uh, eight shows in a row um, before they kick you off and say, "Right, we've had enough of you." <laughs> um, so I did the eight shows. Um, nice. I was fourth nice. seed going to quarterfinals. I won my quarterfinal, lost my semi-final. So but as fourth seed, you basically did part of the course going yeah. against fourth seed, right? Exactly. I should. I, that's exactly how well I should have done. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Yeah, well done, good boy. What was the, the, the story you were telling me about cushions? Yeah, uh, so obviously I was a wee little lad back then um, and I struggled to see over the desk and the cameras couldn't quite pick up my face. Um, so I had, to, I had to sit on two extra big cushions on my chair um, so, that they could, so that they could actually see me, so that the audience could, um, could, could see who I was. Uh, let's go for six small, please. One, Ooh. seven, ten, two, four, and three. And your target is 402. And your time starts now. Circle, shorter, turn it, half. 
harvest, mangoes, ponda, patio, berries, cajoles, nine, 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 incapable, incapable. Oh. So there's a couple of ways here, um, but in general the 10 is your friend, and so we're going to look at doing 40 times 10. So you can get the other 10 uh, by taking 7 plus 3, uh, multiply that by 4 gives us 40, then 40 times 10 gives us the 400, and just add the 2 on at the end. 4402. How was the whole experience? Like, you know, I guess it's... B being on TV in general is pretty fun, but like as an 11 year old, surely it was just like, oh my god, this is amazing. It, it was like, incredible, yeah. Just... Um, to have uh, an actual studio audience watching you um, and like cheering you on and stuff. You've got 10 or so cameras pointed at your face at any time. You've got these actual celebrities in front of you. So you had Carol Vorderman, was very famous on Countdown uh, for putting the numbers up and for getting the, um, getting the answers right when the contestants couldn't. Yep. Um, she changed halfway through my filming as well. Uh, she was replaced with Rachel Riley, who is a lovely young, um, lovely young woman uh, who actually graduated maths at Oxford as well. She did, yes. Um, yeah, yeah. And so we got the chance to meet all these, all these big names backstage. Rachel actually said, bless her, um, on my first show with her, it was also her, one of her first shows as well. She said, you're probably more famous than I am at the minute. <laughs> So that's my little, yeah. little claim Amazing. to fame. I've got a little... Um, and yeah, and yeah, your trajectories in terms of fame... Unfortunately, <laughs> gone down here. I mean, look at me now. Uh, we'll have four large again, please. 25, 50, 75, and 100. And this time you have a 3 and a 2. Lovely. Your target is 12. And your time starts now. Right, can I? Is it coppery? It is. Yeah. Good boy. Crucial countdown. I don't think I've got anywhere near there actually. Um, there's a really cool trick you can do with four large to get to 937, but unfortunately we're not close enough here. Uh, so I only managed 925, um, which isn't close enough to get any points sadly, um, which is quite upsetting. That was a very tricky one. So yes, so you did this in the past. Reunion, surely. They're I'd, gonna love, back to. Now I'd absolutely love to. So I got invited back for a couple more special episodes after that. Um, still as a kid? Still as a kid, right, okay. yeah. Um, so I was about 12 at that point. Um, again, they were, these were very good opponents. I didn't do very well, but was mm -hmm. just delighted to be invited back. Yeah. Went on one most recently when I was 16, um, which was another little special episode. Um, again, yeah, well, let's gloss over the results. <laughs> um, but I'd, I'd love to go back on, in all honesty. So peak ability was 11. Like, yes, that was definitely. Your, you were, you, you, as you said, you could watch it so much that you mm. were like top form, and then it's kind of... Yeah, it ebbed, a little bit ebbed since, and flowed, say. unfortunately. Okay. Um, I think I had the surprise factor on my side at that point as well. Yeah, they were all like, oh, look at the little cute kid. Oh, yeah, yeah. time's up, damn it's it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Maybe you could do the, the 8 out of 10 cats. Oh, I would love to do that. Yeah, if, if you're watching, uh, if you're watching, <laughs> Jimmy. then um, Jimmy, yeah, please get me on. I would absolutely love to do that. Looks like a right line. I can do the mathematician bit as well. Yes, you could. I yeah, can do well. that as the naked mathematician. We'll go on I can do that in my underwear. You know, doing that's all That's a really songs. good idea, actually. Yeah. And then you can come on as the... I, I'd keep my top on if that's all right. <laughs> right, okay. This is, this is now... 8 out of 10 cats producers watching this. Yeah, if you're watching. Uh, those two. This, this is it. <laughs>